Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of Normans. So, this is a weekly reset. Um, look at my little boy. I don't know why. He, he just think he's fine, y'all. I, oh, he about to get on my nerve. <laughs> y'all know how it go. Um, but we was over here getting ready for Sunday dinner. And I ended up making some tacos. Um, no, this year was like Saturday, sorry. But anyway, so I was going to make some tacos. But I was also doing two meals in one. So typically, on a Saturday when I get on off of work, I try to do my weekly reset on a Saturday evening. So that way, you know, Sunday when I get out of church, I don't really have to do too much. I can just really rest. But um, I was over here making some tacos. And then I had made, I had put my collard greens and my pot roast on. Hey, I just didn't want a lot to do right after church. And then after church, I ended up putting on the macaroni and cheese and the cornbread. But... I just want to show you guys, basically, you know how I prep for the week. I swear, I feel like I drown in it all the time. But y'all know, hey, we just do this thing the best way we know how. So if you're new, make sure you like, subscribe, tap that bell. We are a family of four. I'm just basically showing you how we try to get through every day's life. And if you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, babes, how are you guys doing? And y'all, when I say uh, my best friend is a crock pot, yes, I love a crock pot and I love an instant pot, especially as a working mom. Um, I just feel like it helps me so much. And then, you know, like I say, it really gave me a jump start, jump start because I tried to really deep clean, you know, after I get out of work. It just depends on how I'm feeling because for one, you know, hey, working all the time, oh, it can be a lot, you know. Y'all, this polo crop pot blesses the heart. It done had honey. Been with us for years. I mean, years. You hear me? But I mean, it's still hanging on in there. But I love that little regular crop pot. I'm gonna go buy me another one. That roses. <laughs> but um, in that crock pot, I put the pot roast in there. Oh my god, y'all! It had the house smelling amazing. You hear me? Amazing. And then um, I put the greens in the instant pot. I went on here to saute the greens. And then, well, no, I saute this, whatever meat that you like to use, that's what I use, but I use smoked neck bones. Then I put the collard greens on in there in the pressure cook mode. And I also put a little bit of water. I'm gonna say like a half a cup of water. And I use a lot of chicken stock. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Um, chicken broth, oh my God, it did amazing. And so, yeah, um, I had my daughter to help me rinse the dish. This girl be over here trying to play and stuff. And I'd be like, girl, what in the world are you doing? And, and she just think I'd be over here playing with her. I'm like, girl, yo, come on. We trying to get this stuff done, okay? I'm trying to get off my feet. You hear me? And the griddle, I don't even know what we even use the griddle for. I think I made hamburgers or something. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> we had to wash these dishes and stuff like that. So um, I just feel like I'm the type of mom where I ain't going to be doing all this dog on cleaning. And you got these smart mouth kids. We want to try to talk back and think they fit in their little funky stuff. I make them help me as well. So then I had to unwind and I had to get my thoughts together. Y'all, I love me some candles. So I had to light me a candle because, baby, I wanted, and I had my little moo moo on, baby. I think I got it from Timu or Shein. Let me sleep because I sure do want to sleep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had me some Kool Aid in a wine glass. I thought I was bougie. Don't judge me, honey. Judge your mama. <laughs> but, anyways, then I had this uh, uh, candle, and then I had my weekly plan. I put that there onto the refrigerator, but it has what we're going to be doing. And then here it is again. I had just got off of work. I just wanted the kids to finish tidying up um, the living room and the kitchen. That's a must for me every day. Tidying up the living room and the kitchen and making sure both bathrooms is good. And I make the kids, you know, go ahead and do their um do their own bathroom. Now I do come up in there and check and whatnot. You know, I tell them the products they're gonna use and everything. I say, hey, I'm coming to check. Make sure I don't see nothing around that tub. That that's disgusting. Yeah, hear me. And this daughter, I don't know what this daughter about be doing. That daughter just be playing with everything. But my son and I, we was having a deep little discussion. Cause you know, I just like to when I'm cleaning up and I'm talking to them, I like to try to kind of slow down my life and talk to my children, get to know them, just let them know like, hey, I hear you, I see. Okay, what is going on? You know, why did you respond this way? You know, just let them know, hey, mommy is here. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this video. And y'all, I had the deep clean behind that dog on wash and dry. Oh my God, child, it was horrible. Don't y'all judge me in that comment section. But I, I, I was happy because it's like y'all get to see the real, the raw. You know, sometimes you don't want to show people, you know, like the real raw part because you know there's so many judgmental people around. But hey, 
if you stay somewhere, uh, some things you might just forget to come and, you know, check out and, you know, to clean up every day, you know. But, hey, I was glad to get it because, child, I was so disgusted. And I was so mad. I said, what the world is stuff here doing back here anyway? Y'all boogers the one that's back here. But, <laughs> y'all know how I am. But um, until next time, y'all have a beautiful day. Mwah.